And the San Antonio Express News highlights rescue efforts in Texas communities devastated by raging floodwaters. The city of San Marcos outside of Austin was one of the hardest hit areas. That's where a remarkable story of survival comes from a family caught chest deep in floodwaters. Don Daler is in Wimberley, Texas, and he shows us how they survived. Don, good morning. Good morning. The Cortez family says that they were awakened by the sound of rushing water as the Blanco River began filling their home with flood water. They said the ordeal left them shaken, but grateful. <laughs> okay. Carlos and Candy Cortez are dealing with a mix of emotions after losing everything they owned when their Texas home was completely flooded over the weekend. The couple was home with three of their four children when the floodwaters burst through the back doors. What I noticed from the bedroom was the water go from a few inches to our chests in the matter of about two minutes. Too dangerous to go outside, they stayed in their home. The plan was hold on for dear life. That seemed like a good idea until they realized their flooded house might actually electrocute them. I thought something had bit me. But when I when it happened again, and I realized that I was getting shocked. Carlos spotted a ladder by the back door, so they headed to the roof, waiting for help from above. A helicopter from the Texas National Guard. They're terrified. They're ready to get out of there. Jeremy Van Nosdal, Josh Powell, and Josh Tower were part of the rescue team that arrived on scene. Reassured them, everything's going to be all right. We're going to get you out of here. Um, immediately called for a basket. One by one, the guardsmen pulled the Cortez family to safety. The one that rescued me, he was, he was, he was, he was my hero. He calmed me down. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. On Tuesday, Carlos and Candy were reunited with the men who saved them. I appreciate it. The honor that comes from being able to help somebody in their time of need, that's why we're here. I remember. The Cortezes lost everything. Their house was completely destroyed. In fact, they're, they're living with relatives right now until they get their lives back together. And a friend of theirs has started a GoFundMe page to try to help them get their feet back under them. Nora? Don, thank you. Well, thank goodness for the National yes. Guard and the, others who yeah. do uh, the but honor the, that comes with the rest. These of stories give a new dimension to flooding. Yeah, yeah, they do. Because there's been, was almost, look, appears no warning in many of the no. cases that the floodwaters rose so quickly. The fierceness of Mother Nature. But that story puts it in perspective. You're upset about losing everything, and then you see your life is saved, and you think, well, we can rebuild again. Yeah.